What's up? What's up, everybody? It's the beginning of a new week, and you know what that means? That means we have a fabajillion, a fabajillion zombie 2D pixel art roguelike RPGs to cover. I'm excited. Are you? Let's start it off with the first game, Headlander. First game of the week. All right, these are the games coming out on Steam this week or whenever, because who knows? Sometimes the devs are like, uh. It's ready for this week, and then it comes today, and they're like, uh, I'm gonna release it in three years. Half-Life 3. That's all I gotta say. Alright. Uh, Headlander launched the ultimate head trip as, ooh, yeah, porno style. Uh, through psychotic robots and retro 70s sci-fi action venture from Double Five Productions, it is a world of automation, a utopia gone wrong in which all of humanity have transferred their minds into robotic imposter bodies and are ruled by a computer. So, it's retro 70s inspired. It's nice, it looks nice, it's double fine. I get a, a big Futurama vibe from this though. Like their heads come off and that's futurama E too, right? It's got a lot, of, I think they took a lot from Futurama. It doesn't look like it, like visually, but the spirit of Futurama is in here. So, if Futurama was a 3D double fine game and not a cartoon, then it would be Headlander. Which is good if you like Futurama, I guess. Alright, so let's take a look at some more screenshots. This is an action platformer, though. So, whatever you thought it was, maybe you were wrong, because it's an action platformer. Uh, this is really going to be available on July 26th, and it's going to be... Most of the games, um, just to let you guys know, most of the games do not have prices on them, because they're not released yet, and people are... Usually the bigger developers are like, we know what we're going to charge, but the smaller indie developers are like, we don't know, and then they wait till the last minute to decide. Uh, but this is a double fine game, so of course they know in advance. It's $20, and it is on sale for pre-order right now for $15.99. July 26th. But usually the reason that I don't say <gasps> is because I don't know a lot of times. Because it doesn't say sometimes. Okay, so what else do we have? The multi-dimensional underwear drawer. What is... Uh, guys, the multi... It's... It's a... It's a story game. Okay. So, we are... I just thought it was funny. The multi-dimensional underwear drawer. It's... It's very strange. So, it's just a story-based game. Choose your own adventure. Can we call it that from now on? They kind of are choose your own adventures, right? All right, visual novel. Uh, the dimensional underwear drawer. Fantastic name. The name is gonna get some attention. Then we have Kingdom Rush Frontiers. Isn't this a game for iOS? I'm pretty sure this is already a game for iOS. Uh, command your troops through an epic misadventure as you defend exotic lands from dragons, man-eating plants, ghastly denizens of the underworld, all wish flashy new towers, levels, heroes, and more goodies to help you crush your foes in this fantasy action tower defense game. Kingdom Rush Frontier, I'm pretty sure this is an iOS game that was ported to Steam. So, yeah, maybe I'm thinking of Buddy Rush, maybe, or it could be probably both of them, okay. Kingdom Rush Frontiers, July 25th. Doesn't have a price. Like I said, most of these don't have prices. All right, Ghost of a Tale. Ooh, it's about a mouse and his, like, hunts ghost. No, I don't know. Uh, Ghost of a Tale is an action RPG game in which you play as Tilo, a mouse and minstrel thrown into a perilous adventure. Through stealth and cunning, you'll be able to explore secrets of the dwindling heights keep and navigate its dangers. Can we see some gameplay? Oh, wow, that looks really nice. I really like the graphics and the animation. So this is an early access game. But it looks well done. It looks like a solid, legit game. I know, I'm talking about a game where you play as a mouse minstrel, but look how good this looks. This looks like it was like legit, like big studio. This is beautiful, man. I knew it was gonna be a crap. Look at that cute mouse face! Yes, oh, it's a PC at Xbox One, too. Okay. So they actually bothered to publish it on Xbox One, too. This looks like it's gonna be. L look how gorgeous that looks. I love. Please, please, developers, if you're watching this, 
Give me free codes to the game. I, maybe, I, I don't know. I'm not, I wouldn't buy it for 60 bucks, but... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's worth 60 bucks. If it's a legit... I mean, if it's a legit 40-hour game or whatever, then I can't say it's not worth 60 bucks or whatever. I haven't played the game yet. So, we'll see. All right, Epic Manager. But that game looks good, though. Give me, give me free code anyway, because I'm, cause I'm cheap. And don't you love me? Uh... Epic Manager, create your own adventuring agency. So this is let's 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 see what it is. Epic Manager is a unique crossover between sports management, 4x, and classic JRPGs. Experience an addictive one more turn mix of tycoon strategy, roguelike elements, roster management, combat, and character progression, all rooted in an epic yet light-hearted fantasy setting. Rated E for epic. I, this is one of those games. It's like it's like who's who buys these games? Come on, who buys these? games okay okay now we know now we know who buys the management games of <laughs> you what did we play the honey cam studio you know i started getting into that game i was like oh my god i like totally forgot that they're like like naked girls on camera <laughs> it's just like silly silly uh release date july 25th 2016 uh it was a kickstarter as a uh, funded Kickstarter game. All right, what is this? Just Desserts. Just Desserts is a sci-fi, not my type of game, but it's maybe some use. Uh, some use guys and gills. Just Desserts is a sci-fi action dating sim where you play as a soldier who must protect a city from mysterious alien attack, while at the same time, you will also be seeking to capture the heart of your dream girls. Sci-fi action dating sim. Let's see. Some more. Why don't these ever have gameplay? They just have random, like, what is... What is this? Like, why do I need to know? That's just the credits. I want to see some, like, yeah, this. I want to see, like, butts. Yeah, wardrobe. That's gameplay. In, I mean, not the kind of gameplay that I prefer, but... I mean, butts, butts I definitely prefer those gameplays. Uh, so, here we go. It's available July 25th. Not my type of game, but maybe for some of you. We Happy Few. I heard about this game a few times. Compulsion. Uh, from the independent f studio that brought you Contrast, We Happy Few is in Contrast was another f uh, interesting game. We Happy Few is an action adventure game set in a drug fueled retro futuristic city in alternative 1960s England. Hide, fight, and conform your way out of this delusional, joy obsessed world. Alright, some gameplay, yeah. What about you? And creepy dude on TV. I'm talking to you. Are you doing what you should? <laughs> of course you are. Oh. After all, what the hell? What the hell's going on here? Okay. Looks fun. Looks interesting. Don't know why they're all attacking you, but no, no girls allowed. What does it say? Snog hate. S O E what? I don't know what it says. I'm trying to read signs. All right, we happy few, but I heard some uh, some buzz about this game too, so might be something to check out. Yeah, early access, as half of them are. July twenty sixth. Uh, Riptide GP Renegade. Experience a future of illicit. It's a racing game with like jetpack thing, like not jetpack. Uh, like those things. Yeah, you know those things. Those watery shenanigans. Uh, Elicic Hydrojet. Hydrojet! That was the word I was looking for. Where armored riders kick out death defying stunts over massive waterfalls, dodge cops, and boost across surging waves. Unlock new vehicles, characters, and customization features as you take down bosses and build your crew in career mode. That looks like there was another one last week that was like this. And another one, and this one this week. And I think that's good. I think we don't. I haven't noticed a lot of these games. Like, there's not like a crazy amount of like oh my god another one of these games it looks nice it looks like the gameplay is smooth and some cool some cool designs for some of the different uh some different locations some of the different racetracks it looks like it looks legit pretty damn cool uh july 26th riptide gp renegade i don't know if there's other riptide games out i'm not really like i mean I, I'm really not the biggest into this genre, but this looks like a game that I would play in this genre. All right, so I don't know if there's other games in the Riptide franchise yet, or or have I mean have been. You know what I mean, right? 
Yeah, no, fine. Uh, Spirit Sphere, okay, what the hell is this? <laughs> Uh, Spirit Sphere is a local multiplayer game that draws inspiration from classics like Zelda and Windjammers and mashes it together with a nostalgic feel of playing air hockey at your local arcade. I thought that was... was... I mean, it's not for everyone, but I thought it was kind of cute. Look at this Zelda throwback. You know I love it. It's got stupid... Stupid Nintendo Super Nintendo style throwbacks. I had to, I had to enjoy this, right? Look how cute that is. Oh, God. All right. Can we see some more? You know what it is. You know, it's basically two-player Zelda. Like like it basically said. I think the description said correctly. Uh, air hockey with Zelda. Uh, Spirit Sphere. There we go. July 27th. Again, doesn't have a, doesn't have a price. Most of these don't have prices. Uh, Secret Monster Society Chapter 1 Monsters, Fires, and Forbidden Forests. Oh, God. He is a dream monster. A classic point click comedy adventure game set in a unique world of monsters and creatures, embark on an epic adventure across land and sea using time travel to stop an evil genius from destroying the world. Inspired by Saturday morning cartoons. So it's a point click. Usually people see point click, they're like, oh, it's a point click. Which is it? There's not a lot of elements to of gameplay in point click, in my opinion. So I understand where they're coming from. Oh, that's kind of gameplay. That's also kind of gameplay. So I guess it's got a lot of mini games. It's a half-eaten sandwich. Looks tasty. Oh, great. Looks cute though. Okay, Secret Monster Society. It is on the list for this week, but it doesn't say exact date. Okay, then we have Zoom Speedrunners from Hell, the world's only competitive heavy metal first-person platformer. Since every last millisecond, uh, slice every last millisecond as you race and blast your way through deadly arenas. Teleport, jump, fly, and bounce in a hundred merciless and fast-paced maps for the ultimate prize, your soul and beard. So it is a speedrunner, speedrunner of speedrunneriness. And I guess you, you throw that ball and you teleport to wherever you throw the ball to. So it's for people that hate themselves. <laughs> No, it's for a specific, like, demographic. But, looks pretty... looks pretty fun. And METAL! Did I mention metal? Alright guys, see you in July 28th. Yeah. Curious to see how much... I might pick that one up. I mean, like, the again, depends on how much it costs. Cause I'm... You know, I don't have a bajillion... bajillion uh, years to play some of these games. So I'm like, well... <laughs> <laughs> if it's like 60 bucks, I'm like, next. But if it's like 2 bucks, I'm like, sure. If I play it for 5 minutes, then I at least don't feel like, uh, you know, I get ripped off or anything. I'm like, okay. I wouldn't play for 5 minutes, I'd play for like 20 or whatever. The Great, the great Whale Road. The Great Whale Road. A story-driven RPG with turn-based tactics and cards in which you lead a Dark Ages clan in its fight for survival against enemies in a harsh environment. Travel, trade, and fight your way along the North Sea to prepare for the coming winter. Winter is coming! You win. Yay! So, it is a strategy game. A strategy game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. That is available. It's on the list for this week. It doesn't say the exact date though. We have Deputy Dangle. Fantastic. Welcome to Dangle Town, an ordinary town with a lot of wieners in it. Oh God, if this is Deputy Dangle. All right. I know for a fact, Pootie Pie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, every other. Every <laughs> butcher face YouTuber is gonna play this game. Cause they have to. Cause what is this nonsense crap? They have to. This is YouTuber bait. Okay. Uh, you're a deputy's angle today, you're getting deputized. Everything is going great until the elusive cri Mark my words, they're all gonna play it. Uh, going great until the elusive criminal known as GMA decides to crash. Oh, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> crash the party. Within minutes of becoming a deputy, you're now hot on the trail of Dangletown's most infamous criminal. Grandma. Deputy Dangle. Yeah. Ridiculous. 
YouTuber bait nonsense. Hey, you know what? I say YouTuber bait like it's a bad thing. You kind of got to give credit to some of these developers because YouTuber bait is still like they're gonna sell games. People, they're gonna get exposure. It's ridiculous, but they're gonna get exposure. Okay. Mish, and it's better that. It's better to have YouTuber bait that gets exposure than to make another damn zombie roguelike whatever whatever. Niche is a fresh blend of this is niche the next game. Fresh blend of turn-based strategy simulation com combined with roguelike elements. Shape your own animal tribe and find an ecological niche for it to to for it to live in. What is that nonsense? Oh god, kill it. Kill it now. Uh, keep your tribe alive, again, tribe alive against dangers such as hungry predators, climate change, and spreading sickness. They're pretty. I like that. They look like something. Alright. What is that green? I want to punch that green thing in the face! You've ruined air Oh my god. And everything's breeding with that disgusting green thing. Oh, Jesus. I think we must... What did we miss? Was he having sex with a watermelon? No. Okay. Anyway. There we go. Niche. It looks different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it credit. It doesn't look like uh, normal games, right? It doesn't look like the same damn thing we see every week. Uh, so there we go. Niche. A genetic survival game. I'll see if it's any good. Uh, masquerade, songs and shadows. Navigate and navigate the mask deceptions and deadly magic of a vividly Venetian city in this fully voiced pause for tactics RPG. All right. Okay, so it's got cutscenes. They put some effort into the cutscenes. Let's see the actual gameplay, though. <gasps> what is that nonsense? Okay. All oh, looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. So it looks like a uh, similar to the Bonner, 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 the Banner Saga, <laughs> the Bonner, the Bonner Saga, the Boner Saga, uh, as far as art style. All right, Mascara oh, Masquerada, not Masquerade. Masquerada, Songs and Shadows. What's next? Blade Arcus from Shining Battle Arena. In a world control, in a world controlled by Blade, magic and first diverse fist. Don't even, don't even try to say it in a cool way. In a world controlled by Blade, magic and fist, diverse warriors gather for battle. This is a 2D fighting game featuring characters from Shining Blade and Shining Hearts. And Shining Force? No. This looks cool. Yeah. Thank you, game developers of fighting games, because it feels like when we get a fight, we don't get too many fighting games when we do. It's at least, like, decent. There are not really too many crappy, crappy ones. And this looks pretty, this looks pretty legit, though. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Don't you guys love it when I weed out, like, all the really bad games? <laughs> okay. Blade Arcus, July 28th. Now we have M.exe. M.exe is a real-time multiplayer monster battle game. As a trainer, give your monster commands and battle to come out on top. Victor or defeat will depend completely on your skill as a monster trainer. Explore the different moves and monster types. Plan out your strategies. Customize your monster. Okay. So... This game looks kind of like they need a, a better artist. Uh, come on, man. I'm trying to be nice. Looks like they need a better artist, but they have they they have some interesting things here. It's similar. It's like it gives me a Pokemon-y vibe. And I think a lot, and it needs a better name. M.exe. No. You could a little bit better graphics. The, the, that, that concept behind it, like, so, some of it's pretty cool, some of, it, some of the graphics are okay, some of the graphics are pretty cool, but it, the concept behind it, it's like got a little Pokemon feel, it's got like a little monster battle arena, and I think that's got potential. I think that they need cuter graphics, though. I think if they had cuter graphics, this game would be blow up like crazy and be huge. Because I think it's got a really cool idea. It's not the, I mean, it's not the first game that had the idea, but 
I think that I think that the concept is there. Needs more time in the oven. Okay, but it's early access, so we never know. They could fire their <laughs> animator. No, the animations are good. The animations are good. It's not that the it's not that the the models are bad. It's just that I think it needs. It's got poten like the the spirit behind the game has more potential than the graphics are really doing for it. All right, then we have Tokyo Warfare. Wait, I would love to see some little bit pushed up a notch there. What a, who do I think I am? Simon Cowell? Like, no, not for this, not for this, not for America's Got Talent, no. So we'll see. I would love to see uh, if they change up some stuff in that game. So we have Tokyo Warfare. Uh, you guys already know. It's a sh shooty, shooty tank game where you shoot at things. And arcade battling in real life locations of Japan, commanding multi tone rolling beast. Choose between Japan Defense Forces and the invading Red Star Forces and engage in battle in fully destroyable anime flavored environments. Beautiful. There we go. July 29th, 2016. Critical damage. Alright, what do we have next? Trouble Witch's Origin. So the video is actually really, really bad here. You can see what it is. It's a cute anime inspired 2D like shooter game. Right, but we don't really. I they they rendered it. They put a YouTube video. They had like 17 videos on YouTube, not on YouTube, on uh, on Steam, and they're all like two by two resolution. <laughs> like why? Why did you do that? No. But the actual pictures, the screenshots are pretty nice though. So you can see it's got nice looking graphics and it's anime shooty shooty game. Bam bam. Lots of tremendous coins. Because that's realistic. Then again, there's not a lot of anime witches in real life floating around. So, I guess that part isn't realistic either. Okay, last game of the day. Uh, it is Supipara. Chapter 1, Spring Has Come. Subipara Alice the Magical Conductor is an interactive novel themed around dynamicism. Depicted through a rallying... All of the production techniques Minori has accumulated to date. I don't know, but I think this is uh, something that's been around before. So, available July 29th. Supipara. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks very beautiful. Alright. But I think this is something that you guys are like, Oh, Jubego, you've never heard of Supipara? Blah, blah, blah. And I haven't, but mm, I think it's been around before. So, Supipara, guys! Are you excited? We don't see any gameplay. But are you excited for Supipara? Alright, that's July 29th. That's the last game of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you're interested in any of these games. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, turn the video off. No, you, no, you, you hang up. You know, you hang Okay, I'll hang up. Okay, I'll hang up.